Okay guys, in this video we are going to have a look at Angular CLI. Now the Angular CLI is a command line interface tool that is not only going to make development quicker but also easier. So instead of having to code every line from scratch, the Angular CLI can generate files such as components, directives, services, or even generate an entire project with just a single command. Now this video is straightforward. We are going to learn how to create a new Angular project using the CLI and then a few commands that generate different files. So if you've been having trouble creating a project, then this is the video to watch. Now the first step is to install Angular CLI globally. And the command for that is npm install dash g for global flag at angular slash CLI. Now I already have the Angular CLI installed, so I will not be running this command. You can pause the video and install it. Next, we can create a new Angular project using the ng new command. So ng followed by new followed by name of the project. Now I'm going to call this project demo CLI. The command takes a couple of minutes to install, but what it does is it is going to create a new folder with the name demo CLI and within the folder, it creates all the necessary files required for a sample project. Now to run this project, all we have to do is navigate inside the project folder. So cd demo, cd demo CLI. And then we use another command, ng serve followed by dash dash open. Now the ng serve command is going to build our app and launch the server and track file changes. The dash dash open option is to right away open the app in a browser on port 4200. And in the browser, it should say app works. So let's wait a couple of seconds. And there you go. So our application is now working. Now just to understand the folder structure, let's change this app works to hello world. So open the project in editor of your choice. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. And over here, we have the demo CLI project. The demo CLI project is going to contain a source folder. And within the source folder, we are going to have the app folder. Now within the app folder, we are going to have app.component.ts, sorry, .html, which actually binds the title from app.component.ts. So in app.component.ts, when I change this to hello world and save it, this should automatically get reflected in the browser. So we should have hello world. Now let's have a look at some more useful commands. Now the first one is to create a new component. So open, go back to your command prompt. I'm gonna type control C and cancel this. All right, so to generate a new component, the command is ng followed by g, which stands for generate, followed by component, since we want to generate a component, followed by name of the component. Now this command is going to create a new folder and within the folder, it creates the HTML, CSS and TypeScript files. So let me go back to Visual Studio Code and over here within the app folder, it creates a separate folder for the component. So the test component. Now the test component is going to have TypeScript, HTML and CSS. The CSS will be blank. The HTML with just a paragraph tag that says the component works. And then the TypeScript file contains the minimum code for the component to function. So we have the import statement, the component decorator, and then of course the class. All this with the help of just a single command. And if you visit app.module.ts, it is automatically going to import test component and also include it in the declarations array. Now similarly, you can also create a service. So go back to command prompt and type ng followed by g, which again stands for generate. So this time we need a service followed by name of the service. So let's call it a test service. 
Now this doesn't create a folder, rather in the app folder, it creates the TypeScript file. So if I go back to Visual Studio Code, within the app folder, I should, not, I should now have test.service.ts. Within the TypeScript file, the code for import, the decorator, and the class would be typed out for you. As you see, building an application is going to be easier and quicker with the help of Angular CLI. Now, there are a couple more commands, for example, to generate a directive, a class, an interface, and so on. I'm going to leave a link in the description and you can check them out. So that's pretty much what I wanted to cover in this video. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.